Hello people, today uh, I'm not going to show you guys uh, how to open a laptop, today it's more about uh, some repairing tips. So today I'm going to uh, tell you guys how to troubleshoot how, or how to fix a laptop that has a doesn't that doesn't post to bias or some people say blank screen, black screen or doesn't power up. So the laptop doesn't necessarily mean it doesn't power up, it powers up. So if you have a laptop that power up, if you push the power button, the blue light turns on, you can hear the fan running, you can hear the hard drive spinning, but really nothing shows up on the screen. You know what I mean? There's nothing on the screen. The screen's just completely black. You can't see anything on the screen. That's what I uh that's what I'm trying to go over today. So there's certain uh um ways to troubleshoot this and there's certain stuff that can cause this problem. But uh, the easiest one I'm going to start with the easiest one so this is a compact laptop one of my customers compact laptop so this one you can tell that something shows up on the screen ta-da like that um, but sometimes when the backlight goes out the backlight is a light that uh, produces white light to the screen so you can see the stuff or one of the old laptops, let's say your inverter went out, uh, they have a LCD screen which has a uh, cathode light, a cathode backlight. Uh, uh, I don't have any cathodes right now, but you guys know what cathodes are. So they have a little mini cathode back there and they need an inverter to uh, power that up because they need a high voltage, uh, not like the LEDs. LED only needs like, you know, 5 volts, something like that. So how to tell your inverter went out is you're going to go turn on your computer and you're going to put a bright light onto the screen. And if you see anything, let's say you have a Dell laptop and if you see Dell logo showing up here on the screen with the bright light just uh, lightning at the screen, that means your inverter or the backlight is dead. In that case, if you have one of the old laptops, you're going to have to change the inverter, which you take off this entire uh, screen bezel and there should be inverter down there or top up there. And then you're going to change that. It should work fine. If you have an LED screen and that does that, that means your backlight is dead and you have to uh, take out the screen, open the screen and then replace the, ba uh, replace the backlight. But that's a pretty hard job. So in that case, I would just recommend getting a new screen how to troubleshoot that your your laptop has a blank screen and you want to know if it's a screen or not you're gonna put a you know just ex uh, you know some random screen and get it for if I'm pretty sure you guys have extra screens in your house but so I'm gonna restart So I connect the DVI port to the monitor and then I just turn it on. Let's see what happens. Oh, you saw something showing up there. And then you can see, oh, this is the cable, cable. But you can see something showing on the screen. That means your laptop is fine. You just got to replace the screen or the inverter or something like that. So let's go to something harder than just a screen. I'm going to turn this baby off. So, this laptop doesn't necessarily have a screen issue because, uh, you know, I just plugged it in there and then the laptop still shows nothing on the other screen. That means this laptop, uh, this, this screen is more likely fine. And then uh, even if I put a bright light there, I couldn't see anything in there. That means the screen doesn't really get any signal from the motherboard. In that case, uh, <clears throat> there are a couple options that you can do. You're going to turn off the laptop. You're going to turn it off. You're going to uh, uh, unplug the AC adapter. And then you're going to take the battery off. Now I took the battery off. So the, now that laptop has no power but it still does have some power to keep the bias alive. 
now you're gonna drain the entire laptop from any kind of energy source by just pressing the power button for about 20 seconds so 20 seconds has passed so I'm gonna you know let the power button go and I'm gonna either plug in the uh, AC charger I have a universal charger you know, I'm gonna plug in the charger I'm gonna turn it on and let's see what happens this time still doesn't show anything onto the screen so if this still hasn't fixed the problem stay tuned all right that next step what I'm gonna do is to check for the RAM uh, what can RAM do well if you have a wrong kind of RAM integrated onto your motherboard but or if one of your RAMs are broken that means your laptop's not gonna work it's not gonna show anything it's not gonna boot so what I'm going to do I'm gonna open one of the RAM slots so now I see two odd looking rams right there so how to troubleshoot if you know if one of is broken do you need a ram tester nope you don't you just take one of it out so I just took both of them out so now in this case this is a one gigabyte ram this is two gigabyte ram uh, and then either of them can be actually broken how do I tell? Well, I'm going to test both of them. So now I'm going to start with the one gigabyte one. And then if you have only one gigabyte, if you have two RAM slots, you're going to put it one on the down there. You're going to put one down there and that one on the top. And then push. And then I'm going to give it a start. How? Plug this guy back in again. So now I powered it up. Ta da! It shows. That means that doesn't necessarily mean this RAM is broken. That could be mean uh, those two RAMs are not uh, supporting each other. It could be. But it seems like it's working with one RAM. So, I'm going to shut it down. I'm going to show you guys something cool. So now, let's do some more further tests. So I take this one out. I'm going to, I'm going to plug this one in. Um, and now let's use a battery actually. Whoa, let's I start it up. You know what? It's gonna work. See, it works. Now, what's going on? Um, there are two options in this case either your RAM slot, this slot is broken. Or you're, uh, you have to put a exact same RAM to both sides if they are supporting dual channel. So, how do I test if this slot's broken? Well, I'm just going to simply <coughs> put one of them over there. Now, let's see what happens. Yep, it does not show anything. So at this case, uh, at this case, I can assume that uh, this RAM slot right here 
this RAM slot is broken. Um, so at that case, uh, you have to fix a RAM slot, and that's that's really hard. I don't know if I can show you guys, but let's go for the next step. Uh, if your laptop, you know, if your RAMs are fine, or if you change the RAM, still doesn't work, and well, that's when the problem gets pretty complicated. So at this point, even if you change the RAMs and then try the RAM test, all the stuff, and the laptop still doesn't start, you're gonna have to uh, think that uh, your GPU graphic accelerator is dead, or your motherboard is dead. Uh, how to fix the graphic card issue? Um, you're gonna have to reflow it, which is relatively easier, easy job. Um, how you do it, you're going to open the laptop, you're going to uh, go to the motherboard, and then you're going to see the GPU graphics card. They usually say ADI or NVIDIA on it, the graphics card, and then you're going to burn it. You're going to burn the GPU at a very high temperature that's going to melt down all the sol soldering irons, every single one of them, and then you're going to let it cool, which resolder the entire chip. And that usually 90% of the time that usually fixes the problem if that doesn't fix the problem um, you're gonna have to get a new motherboard uh, you can also uh, think your CPU's dead but uh, CPUs they don't break honestly they're the part that breaks the least so uh, skip the CPU uh, you're gonna have to change the motherboard or the graphics card if your laptop supports a PCI slot that you can connect the graphics card which is pretty rare so those are the uh, cases that causes a blank screen um, and then if you uh, if you have any question about you know how to uh, reflow or something like that just ask me uh, questions on my YouTube channel or my uh, on this video. Just comment on it, and then I'll answer it. I'll answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.